everyone. We are back this year again at the Things Conference 2021 with reinforced measures against the coronavirus. And as you all know, we have a special year behind us and we are looking forward to the new year. And today we invited also one of our clients for this special talk in order to present the common solution, how to actually fight the coronavirus back. Welcome from my side as well. My name is Alex Raimondi. I'm the co-CEO of Miromica. And I'm Sheke Fate. I'm also co-CEO at Miromico. And today we have also Lukas Limacher, the CEO and co-founder <laughs> of Eden Senses. And together we will be presenting a common solution. Let me first give you a short introduction about Miromico. Within Miromica, we have uh, three different branches. One branch is doing ASIC design. This is high speed, uh, multi gigabit mixed serial ASIC design. For example, for ADCs, uh, ADCs for GSM base stations or high speed digital analog converters uh, in, in bleeding edge technology. In the, other two, in the other two branches, we are developing electronics and electronic devices for our customers. One is more focused on project basis where we develop custom specific um, products and devices for our customer. In the third branch, which is more represented for today's um, presentation, we are doing IoT devices in all flavors, like temperature sensors, GPS trackers. Why should you work with Miromico? We are, focused on, we are strongly focused on hardware and firmware development close to hardware. Even the Google CEO recognized that hardware development is hard. Once out in the field, there is no way to deploy patches to hardware and everything has to be ready and prepared once before you go into mass production. This includes design to cost that needs to be uh, taken into account before you do your designs and as, as well as all the production testing, the supply chain that needs to be aligned and all your partners for the final assembly, housing development and all other kind of um, uh, piece and parts you have to um, take a uh, think about when you develop a new product. So there were many solutions actually already being developed by the community, let's say, where if we had uh, to come up with uh, protecting our faces or, and, 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 but the solution that we are providing today is actually not going in this direction or neither solving the, the issue with uh, running out of toilet papers, um, Lucas, actually will present a new solution that will solve um, the issue with the air quality inside the buildings. As uh, New York Times and many other newspapers claimed, um, it, there is a big issue on the indoor air quality that actually also impacts the infections on the coronavirus. So Lucas is with us. Uh, let's change to Lucas. So thank you, Alex. Thank you, Shekhab, for the introduction. As already mentioned, my name is Lucas. I'm a co-founder of Eden Census. Eden Census started half a year ago, um, and we are now 14 people. The core, the core case we are trying to solve at Eden Census is really about indoor air quality, and. As you all know, we are breathing quite naturally. We don't focus on where we breathe and what we breathe. And within Eden Senses, we are trying to uh, solve this issue and give you somehow feedback if, if this environment is healthy or not. Um, the bet we made at Eden Senses is the same as we think happened 20 years ago with the food industry. Today it's hard to buy non-vegan food, non-biological food or um, stuff like this. And we think or we believe that the same, feeling, uh, the same thing will happen to the, the air industry. That's why we are focusing on only one thing. To tackle this, we created a system called Erica. Erica is an enterprise application. Erica is a connected managed service. This means for clients, um, they don't have to worry about anything. They don't need applications, they don't need logins, they don't need to configure their devices and they don't need to register anywhere. So it's really a plug and play installation and no hustle for the client. 
One thing at Eden Senses we do a bit different than in other IoT companies is we are um, tackled from layer two to layer five, everything in-house. This means we have our own hardware, our own sensors, we have our own connectivity layer, uh, which means a LoRa backend. We have our own analytics engine written by, by ourselves. And all this together is the service which we provide to the client side. It's very important for the use case which we are going to present you now. What is Erico all about? It's not that rocket science what I'm presenting you here. Mainly it's an Erico service. It's a web dashboard where we present you the measurements of the sensors, obviously, but as well, we are connecting to third party systems and we present the results of our algorithms. Secondly, we are using indoor air quality sensors at the state of the art in the industry. It's very important that we measure very accurate, as you will see in the, in the slides coming after this. And we developed as well our own light feedback devices. So in a nutshell, Erica uh, Eden Senses is a platform, but in the heart, we are a data science company. Um, <clears throat> what we are showing you here is Erica's features. You need to understand that the only thing which we are doing, we place an indoor air quality in a room and measure an anonymous measurements. And from these anonymous measurements, we provide presence detection. This means is someone in the room or not? We detect if a door or a window is open. We can do people counting. Obviously, we do some health days reporting. We try to make room size optimization. And of course, we provide real-time feedback with LoRa powered light devices. Um, <clears throat> to give you some examples, what we can do when you install our system with your, in, in your facility, um, we can detect quite easily if a meeting is happening without knowing the reservation data from your Outlook. We count and detect if a meeting is, is happening. We know how many people are in the room. So for us, it's quite easy to see, is this meeting room just a very expensive phone booth? Normally it's designed for six people, but only one guy is going in there to make their calls. We can aggregate this on weekdays to, uh, to try to identify hotspots. When are the rooms all the time empty? When, when is it overbooked? And of course, we can have a look at the meeting quality and indirectly to the productivity. So these are just some examples about our results. But <clears throat> what's really important for us and what we try to show you now is how we are doing this. We measure temperature, we measure humidity, CO2, volatile organic compounds and pressure. And with these measurements, we calculate in real time the occupancy, the ventilation rate. And with the combination of this, we can do this analytics we showed you before. And we also try to tackle the COVID pandemic situation. And this is what we try to show you here. Every room is individual in sizes, in how many windows there are, um, how many people are in. And with this combined, we, we implemented somehow this COVID feature where we calculate on the minute, how many minutes is the room still healthy? How long do you need to take a break? Or how long do you need to open the window? So the risk of a COVID transmission is minimized. I think this is very important in terms um, during winter time to save energy. Um, this is just one of the examples when we combine the analytics with a, with a case like COVID pandemic on the global, on a global scale, how we, we interacted and tried to solve this solution as well. Um, so in a nutshell, I, I think I already mentioned it in the beginning for us, the managed service is at its core. It needs to be very easy and it's really breathtakingly quick and easy in terms of setup. Client receives a package with the hardware in it. He goes to a room, he puts on the sensor and he leaves. And that's about it in terms of installation at the client's side. This was very important for day one and it will be very important for the future within our company. So with this word, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention and um, for inquiries, please visit directly our homepage edensenses.com. And with this, I would like to give back to Jacob and Alex.
Thank you, Lucas, for your nice presentation about your COVID use case. Now I will more focus on the Miromico roadmap on IoT products and modules. As you probably remember from the last year, um, we were presenting our smallest LoRaWAN module in the world. Now this year we did a few add-ons to our family of LoRaWAN modules. First, I would like to start with the FMLR660 uh, family of modules. It's based on a Semtec S612-61-62 chipset and a STM-L4 microcontroller. It's more targeted to high-performance applications where you can make use of the additional perfor uh, processing performance of the L4 controller and the, the extended memory of it. We also have an S61261 on board, so we can use, make use of the additional um, modulation scheme, for example, to do satellite communication with our partner, Lacuna Space. Another add-on to the family is our new 2.4 GHz S61280 based module. It also incorporates an STML4 for advanced application. You can have it with the S61280, which also supports ranging, and or for another version where you can have the 81 for a reduced cost without the ranging. We are also working with some partners to develop some very high, very specific application. For example, with Danalto, we are developing a ranging application and we will present this in one of the workshops in this TTN conference. Another new um, feature we brought out with our new S61280 module is a, a Bluetooth low energy stack that is running seamlessly on our modules. It's a stack that has been ported by our partner Blue Kitchen onto our module. It's completely um, incorporated into the module and the footprint is just small so that you can also um, run dual stack applications. So you can do Bluetooth configuration using the Bluetooth stack and in, in the, on the field you can also have LoRa or other modulation scheme to do your um, long range communication. Please have a look at the video where we demonstrate this Bluetooth stack running on our module. BLE meets 2.4 GHz LoRa. On the right is our SX1280 module mounted on a dev board. The iPhone on the left is running a Bluetooth demo app. The wireless module is running the BLE stack and can be controlled from any smartphone running iOS or Android. Now our module is connected and online in the app so I can start controlling the color of the LED. All you need is our SX1280 based LoRa module running the BLE stack. Get in touch for more information. Another add-on to the family is the LR1110 based module. It features the latest chipset from Semtech, which supports next to LoRa communication, also um, low energy Wi-Fi scanning, Wi-Fi sniffing and GPS sniffing. The the chip is on, on the module with the same footprint and can be easily exchanged with all the other modules if you have a current design with, with sensors. The, the module will be available through our distribution channels like Fnet Silica and will be ready for mass production late Q1 2021. There's other, also other things going on behind the scenes at Miromico. We, we will go operational with a new company called Tesenzo at February 1st this year. Within Tesenzo, we will also provide, or within Tesenzo, we will provide full, full stack IoT solutions, including applications, IoT consulting, project management, which also supports our customers in conception phase and into deployment of the products into the field. So please stay tuned and, um, Watch the website from Tisenzo. Thank you everyone for your attention and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you and enjoy the conference.